Hey guys, so today I had the uh, small block forward taken apart and I figured it'd be a great time to show you guys how to ID your block. So let's hop on in and I'll get to showing you how you can do that. Whatever that is. And then these numbers right here give you a lot of information. So first you'll have a letter. So in my case I have a C. Uh, that stands for the decade in which it was cast. So B is 50s, C is 60s, D is 70s, so on and so on. Uh, then the next digit you got is a number. That is the year of the decade. So mine is a 68, a 1968 302. Um, and then you've got another letter. And that one, there's a whole bunch of letters it could be. You're going to have to look it up. Uh, in my case, this is from a Ford Torino. It just tells you the model of car that it was intended to be put in. Now, a lot of people don't put much stock in those because sometimes engines didn't end up in the right car, but that's what that's supposed to mean. And then lastly, this next letter is uh, what department of Ford uh, designed the engine or put it together or whatever. It doesn't really mean too much. And then if we go around, oh, and that's the, uh, the date that you're block was actually cast. So if we look on the heads, uh, you can see right there, that's my 302. Uh, that'll be your cubic inches, even though all the heads fit on each other, except for the 351s have bigger holes. But uh, So right here will be that same number if you've got the stock heads. Uh, it's the casting number of the engine that it was made with same deciphering system so if you have the the stock set of heads on your engine then you don't have to worry about deciphering this again because it'll be the same um, but then you want to figure out what model head you have for your year uh, i think in my year there were three or four of them and uh, if you look over here there's a letter sometimes it'll also be printed here or here but you're just looking for a, a big letter um, so in my case, it could have been an F, it could have been a J, I think it could have been a G, but uh, the J means that I have 63 CC chambers, and you just need to to look that up yourself. It's a kind of like the the letter over there for the model of vehicle. They change these so often that there's not like a a standard. Every year, you're going to have different letters meaning different things. So yeah, and then. If you're really lucky and you have the stock intake manifold like I do, you don't even have to uh, really look that hard. Here's the intake manifold like it would be in your vehicle. You know, the head's here, you've got your water pump up here somewhere, carburetor. Uh, that tag right there, if we just take a look on it, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it says 302 C68. So, we already know it's uh, 1968. This one there is something about what form or something. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then this right here tells you when it was assembled. And uh, yeah, so you can get a lot of information from that too. So that'll really help you track down when your motor was built. I hope this is helpful and uh, that you can figure out where your engine is from now. Have a good one. So I hope you all enjoyed and were able to ID your block. If you did learn something, feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you would. And if you still need some help figuring out those hard to find casting numbers, check the links down in the description. There's some great resources down there that can help you. You've been watching Red Dirt Garage and I'll see you guys next time.